Um, we're going to show you what sold Memorial Day weekend for us. We went to Cincinnati. Yes, we did. My sister graduated from high school and it was super exciting. So we did a little sourcing down there, a little garage sale down there, and we worked while we were there. Yeah, we also did a trial error on testing to see if we can leave our business running while we weren't in the state. So my name is Karen. I'm Jay. And we're with the Thrifty Flamingo. We talk a lot about Poshmark and reselling in general. So if you're interested in this content, we would really appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. And if you're new here and you haven't gotten on our mail email list yet to receive that free six part Poshmark workshop, there's a link in the description below. Click on that link and get on our email list. We'll send out one video per day. It's a great workshop and it's completely free. These videos aren't available on YouTube. So just click the link in the description, get on our email list, and you'll get all those videos for free. So I'm going to jump on the computer, show you exactly what sold. Part of the trial run was um, Jay put his closet on vacation mode, um, and I left my closet going. For eBay, we just increased our handling time um, because we didn't want to overwhelm our my sister. It was my sister who um, yep. shipped for us every single day. So I'm just going to go. I had a pretty good weekend considering I wasn't really yeah. doing much. So I'm going to jump on the computer and show you exactly what sold this weekend. So yeah, I left my sister in charge and she handled it very, very well. So the first thing I sold was this Adore Me Blanche Net Bra. <laughs> um, that was marked down. You see, it, there was closet clear out um, and the day before we left. So these are all the sales from the 24th to the 29th. That was the entire time I was in Cincinnati. Um, and my sister was in charge, um, but then we left and I couldn't mark my prices back up because I was in a car. So, uh, some of my Poshmark buyers had a few days, like a day extra of reverse, like a uh, drop prices. What else? So I sold this bra. I only had that for like a week. That went really quick. Now these Topshop Moto High Waist Mom Stud Shorts. Originally I had them priced at $38. And they were getting some likes. They weren't really moving that lot much. I did a few private offers. So then I repriced them to $25. Um, so when I did a price drop, I dropped down to $20 and they sold. This beautiful blue torrid dress. Oh, that was one of those things that I almost kept for myself. But I was good. I made $34 on it. And then these. Joe's jeans is social light. Kicker crop. So yeah, I still sell jeans, but the crops are definitely still moving. Twenty-five bucks. Those weren't even a markdown. I think that was a, that was an offer. Um, same thing with these coach shoes. These have more wear on them. Like the little um, gold plate had a little more tarnish to them. Um, took an offer on that. And then this Athleta Twister Tank Peony Top. That was only up for a couple days. That sold at full asking price. It wasn't the full um, tankini. It was just the top. And then I had this Urban Outfitters Pins and Needles top. That I have had in my closet for so long. I have relisted it, repriced it, did different pictures, went with a stock photo at this point. Um, it sold finally in a bundle. These two shirts right here that are side by side were a bundle. The Anthro. Hilk Row Restripe and the Urban Outfitters. And then the next thing I sold was this Anthropology um, <laughs> Shoulder Stripe Tank. So um, I just relisted that and it sold like a couple days later. So people that are afraid to relist stale items, do not be afraid. Um, there's another thing I'll get to is another thing that I relisted that sold the same day I relisted. Next is Adriana Gulshmi, so much fun to say, this felt cigarette crop jean in 17 year blue. Very spring like color jean, sold those for 40 bucks. Um, next thing was the Vince Comuto black slim fit trouser dress pants. Those I think, yep, that was, they just bought them straight out. Um, these, the BOC Born Peggy Professional Clog, these were born, bought straight out too, no offer, just. 32 bucks at the door. And then this, um, Rock Republic, um, Blue Wing Glitter Burnout Racerback. That, 
was a donation. My mother-in-law gave it to me and I'm looking at it. I'm like, that's, why would you have bought that? It had like glitter wings and it was like, I don't know, not really age appropriate for my mother-in-law, but I'll take it and sell it for 22 bucks. Next one are these little, um, the Orse kitten heels, sold them for 25 bucks. Under Armour! This bra, if it fit me, I definitely would have done it. It was like a, you can work out in it and you won't move in it. So, made 18 bucks on that. Lily Pulitzer, Sabrina Coral Dress, sold for 24 bucks. I had it at 32. It is vintage Lily. Um, vintage Lily doesn't always have, um, names to the pattern. It was the um, white tag with the registered mark. So it was like early 2000s and it was just, that was the name of the dress. So that wasn't getting as like much traction as like newer Lily does. Then I sold the shorts, this bikini top, and this purse. These all went in a bundle together. They kind of look like they would kind of go together, so that's cool. Those all went in a bundle. This J. Crew yellow striped skirt um, was one of the things that I actually sourced while I was in Cincinnati. And I took a few pictures while I was there. I was trying to list in between, you know, um, hanging out with family. <laughs> it sold. And I'm like, oh no, it's here. So when I was talking to my sister, I was like, um, I will ship the skirt. Day I get back. It's only a day after it would have shipped anyway, so <laughs> can't do anything about it. It was packed away. Next one were these J. Crew Brown Soft Leather Sandal Sides, so sold for $29. This one teaspoon jumpsuit relist had a crud ton of likes on it. I think it was like 36 likes on it. Sent private offers out. I price dropped it to where it was comfortable and I was just like no one was biting on it and I was like you know what I'm gonna relist it and it sold the same day I relisted it. Relist. And then there's three more things. The Seven for All Mankind 8 Pocket Rainbow Crystal Blue Cut Jeans sold for 35 bucks. And right next to it a really cute Seven for All Mankind 8 Pocket Mini Denim Skirt. Mini Skirt, denim skirt, yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing that sold was this Millie for Design Nation striped pleated dress. So that sold um, the 24th to the 29th when we were away. So, um, and I wasn't actively sharing as much. I was still sharing enough. Um, I think at night you know, when the family was kind of went to bed. So I did get a lot of sales in while I wasn't really trying and happy about it. My sister definitely handled it. So now we can trust her when we go away to like, kind of like, we're going to train her on, on Jay's closet next. So she can hopefully handle both closets while we go away. And then we don't have to go on vacation mode. How great is that? Not so bad for, you know, having a weekend with the family and not, not bad even at all. being in the state. Yeah, we were busy with family and <laughs> activities and going out to dinner and barbecues Grandma. and all this stuff. <laughs> so we worked when we could, but we didn't work all the time and um, we still had a pretty solid weekend. So Yeah, not bad at all. So I, if you guys enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate if you gave the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're new to this channel, we would also really appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. All right, happy poshing, guys. Have a great one.